Hi, I'm Angela Martin and welcome to number 42 Butler Drive in Karanda. This particular part of Karanda called Top of the Range is super duper special. It's super duper popular because we have glorious natural rainforest environment and it is a easy commute into Cairns. But what makes this property your new home extra special and also rare is that it's almost two acres two acres now that's almost twice as much land as a lot of the other properties in the area and we have the best of both worlds we have open beautiful bright sunny uh, garden just as we come in the driveway and a gorgeous glorious pole home in the rainforest nestled down the bottom let's go down and have a look but before we do if you want to see more little videos like this on lifestyle properties press the subscribe button we'll head down there now and of course my favorite color red absolutely stunning stunning entrance into what becomes the rainforest part of the property Again, we've got that gorgeous, we'll look at that when we do the gardens, but the bright open sunny spot and we have sealed driveway. Tarma, again, a best friend in the wet tropics. Beautiful, beyond beautiful um, rainforest walkways, rainforest gardens, and we have a permanent creek. So I don't want to spoil the surprise. I want you to head down there and I'll meet you at the house. This is a Chris Van Dyke pole home and they are legendary for great design, super duper quality build, but more importantly, they fit just gorgeously into the natural elements. So we have pole home surrounded by rainforest and the whole feel is just divine. You're gonna be blown away when we walk through that front door and we're gonna go straight through out onto the deck. Amazing. We don't normally come straight through the front door, past the living area, past the kitchen, past the orientation, right out onto uh, your entertainment deck. But this is stunning. We will come back out here and we will go for a wander around the gardens and we will look in the house, of course. But this is what this property is all about. It is I'm very rarely lost for words, but if you just come over here and you breathe the clean, fresh air that we have all around us, we're privileged, we're genuinely privileged. And to have entertaining with this, if you can have a look down over here, with this magnificent rainforest backdrop is just unbelievable unbelievable just take three seconds just to enjoy the fresh air and the greenery and the beauty it is breathtaking We're just going to do a little bit of orientation and 
I know this is just, maybe some people think it's silly, I don't know, but this is organic, this is beautiful, and you could imagine just having that with your breakfast, you've got a couple of stools, a cup of tea, a relaxation with, uh, with your family or with anyone that you would want to be here, maybe you don't want anyone here, but this is a big deck it's probably close to 10 meters this way and it's probably about six or seven meters this way so we can get one two three four five six easily huge big table for eight people and of course we've got a barbie area over there specifically for yummy cooking orientation okay angela back to it we have as we came in the front door this is our main living area We've got a master bedroom on this side that's got a walk-in robe and a really big ensuite. And then on this side, we have a dining area. And down through the hallway, we have another bedroom and another bathroom. But the kitchen, fabulous. And of course, we've got a mezzanine level up there, perfect for an office or a bedroom or a place for the grandchildren to just hang out. So just have a bit of a look around here and then I'm going to meet you in the kitchen. This is beautiful country feel uh, kitchen and you'll, one of the first things you'll see, one of the first things you'll hear, is that we have granite bench tops, not fake granite bench tops, not look-alike granite bench tops, but the real deal. And it's sort of like a, a Venetian, um, volcanic, warm, yummy, just, it just, it's just warm, it really is. I'm going to stop touching this. Um, great for prep and of course nice beautiful warm um, cream cupboards but check this out. Love this. It's like the old, um, it's a bit like an old farmstead with a U-Butte big gas cooker and again we've got plenty of cupboard space. Now the whole of the house, I'm not going to open up every single cupboard but there is plenty of storage including room for a big fridge. <coughs> beautiful big pantry with dehumidifier. These dehumidifiers really work well in the tropics because it just stops moisture getting into your flour and your salt. And again, we've got another cupboard in here, which is great for all your, uh, all your gadgets, you know, your bread making machines, your coffee machines. Um, of course, we've got a dishwasher. But the natural light is everywhere and, and normally pole homes you know you have a lot of wood so they can be a little bit dark but this one light and it is bright and you're getting the cross breeze this way we've got louver windows and we're screened everywhere but if you did get a little bit hot in the summer we do have air conditioning so we'll go for a bit of a wander this has had a makeover. This used to be a bedroom and it could still be a bedroom if you wanted it to be because we have doors that open and close for privacy. And of course you could put curtains up there if you had somebody staying, but you're gonna eat your dinner out there, guaranteed. You're gonna entertain out there, guaranteed. But just sometimes for those intimate dinners, this is a brilliant room and again, plenty of cupboards, which would have been the original um, walk-in robes when it was a bedroom, but easy access out. And look, look at the leaves on that. That is just, it's sensational. I'm gonna meet you down the hallway.
how big was the roof in that bedroom? When we go into the master room, it is everything is big. The cathedral ceilings are just stunning. But come into this bathroom. This is again big. We've got just check up here so you can see. And we have another big shower. I love I love the fact that there's no glass. You have got tiled floors, you've got tiled walls, and you have just a little bit of a splash screen here. But it just helps when you're living in such a fabulous part of the world, in such a fabulous climate, in such a beautiful pole home, not being hemmed in is just brilliant. So I love the design. Thank you, Mr. Chris Van Dyke. Head back along the hallway, through the living room, we'll go up into the mezzanine, and then we'll have a quick look at the master. mezzanine so it's not that I'm checking out people's cupboards but I want you to see again that there is plenty of storage even the um when we looked at the bathroom there's a big cupboard at the end of the hallway that I forgot to say another big cupboard but look plenty of space for a couple of single beds could be a gym could be an art studio could just be a nice lovely reading uh, reading nook but again natural light and as you have a look through here you can see the rainforest so this is the front of the property when we came in the driveway and that gorgeous purple tree just beautiful but just have a look over here at that glorious glorious view it's breathtaking Come on over and check this out for, oh, isn't that lovely? Magnificent master bedroom suite. Now, we spoke about the high ceilings and the cathedral likeness and the natural light. But look at this, you're lying in bed and you are in your own little castle, your own little cathedral. And not only have you got that, but you're lying here and you have the sparkliest view in the whole wide world. We live in world heritage. Our North Queensland, wet tropics, birds, bees, butterflies, all the native animals that go with it. And of course you can hear the bird song. That's garden time. <laughs> very, very lovely. So let's do a spin round. Have a look in the uh, the ensuite, which is big. Look at this. That's a pole that was in the garden at one point in time. Just magnificent. And great big double shower, great big vanity, um, toilet, and gorgeous mirror for putting in your, your bits and your bobs in the morning. And again, natural light. Go have a look and I'll show you the walk and robe. I did mention about really high ceilings in the walk and roll. We're not going to go have a real good look in, but look at this natural light and plenty of shelves and storage space. Doesn't get much better than that. Now we are going to have a quick walk around the hallway. We didn't talk about the laundry, which is particularly big, and that goes out onto our, um, our back deck. So the laundry this way, plenty of storage, 
don't know how many times I might use that word today, but plenty, plenty, plenty of storage. And it goes all the way up to here. We've got room for another fridge, another freezer, and of course we've got a laundry sink. Brilliant area out to the back. Before I show you this other fabulous little room off to the side, this laundry part of the garden is just glorious. I, I don't know that many other people would have such brilliant attention to detail on the laundry functional side of the house but look at all these gorgeous succulents little toadstools and again the look at the tree fan that is sensational and we've got the sparkle of the sun coming through down into the rainforest variegated gingers and the sound of running water it is just it's super duper special we're going to head into this room. I'm going to meet you around the corner. So we've come back around from that glorious little garden orientation. We come down the driveway originally, and of course we have the front of the house, and then we have this massive air-conditioned guest wing. So you can see that we can... This is how big the room is. That is a really big bed. That's a queen bed. And it is just dwarfed by the size of the room. It's got air conditioning. I'm sure the fish don't come with it, but this is just a... Oh, love fish tanks. The relaxation is just amazing. And of course, we have the rainforest views. So we have our own little private space. We have, if you have a look through this window, access to the side of the house another door there down into the garden but if you wanted to use this as a yoga space or if you wanted to convert it you know for airbnb you could easily put in a bathroom obviously subject to council approval but this room is massive it's a big room it's bright and it's light and it's spacious and it is fabulous we're going to head over, look at the three-bay shed, and then we are desperately going to get into those gardens. And we've got a really big shed, just stones throw to the house. So you can see that we've got room for three cars, but we are going to have a look up at that real big flat open bright sunny spot as we come in and there's also other um, little buildings and veggie areas up there that you could too use as a shed but I just wanted to let you see that we're concrete we've got again nice high ceiling and we have power so everything you need to do all the lovelies close by the house I promise you we are now going to head into that beautiful rainforest garden This is everywhere in the rainforest part of this property is just got beautiful colors. These are blue gingers. Look at these over here. Unbelievably magical. And we've got little walkways. Wasn't that pretty? It's an old tree that's obviously been chopped. Bromeliads. These walkways are everywhere so you can literally walk all the way around your, uh, your your property and the only thing that hopefully you will see and i love this garden art look what you could do if you wanted to or if you were you know super creative and it's really hard not to be creative when you live in the rainforest all these fabulous colors just again paving the walkway but i'm just going to have a walk up here so that you can see Look at this, isn't this magical? A little spot where you can brush away your cobwebs and just relax, having either a, a read, a book, a chat with your partner, chat with your children, and just enjoying the butterflies and a go on about the bird song. It is 
priceless, absolutely priceless. And if we continue to walk all the way down in that direction, we will hit our very own creek. So we'll have a bit of a quick sneak and then we'll head up to that bright sunny spot. Can't help myself just on the way down. Look at the leaves on those plants. Beautiful leaves and look at this. Oh my goodness. That is, it's not only spectacular, it's just another reminder of how magical this part of the world is and the fan my goodness bird's nest fan oh, i'm just getting too excited we've got more lovelies and just for orientation this is actually the back of the um so-called granny flat or granny studio and this takes us all the way back around to that gorgeous little garden that we had on the other side of the laundry so we are going to head by, down that way now We are going down, I promise, but every time I walk through a little pathway or every time I get another two steps in this direction, I just <laughs> can't help myself. So we're sort of under the house, plenty of space under the house, and I don't know if we can see this, but if we look up, we are actually probably where we were, you know, when we were sat at the beginning and we were overlooking this garden for the deck just up there. So you get a sense of where we are. And this was a gorgeous little garden that we could see looking over the balcony. These ferns are everywhere. They're seriously everywhere. And we've got, again, nice, easy, easy path. Everywhere you go, we're not on the side of a mountain, flat usable land at the front, lots of beautiful usable land, um, rainforest land around and close to the house. But I'm gonna stop going on about it. We are heading down that pathway as we speak. And it was worth the beautiful, cool walk. Whoops, just mind your feet. Now we are in winter, so we have not had much rain, but you could imagine in the wet season where oh, the temperature, oh gosh, look at the size of that tree. Just turn around and look at the size of that tree. That is spectacular absolutely spectacular um oh can you see that bird fan nest all the way up close to the top um yeah in the wet season you're going to have beautiful water water holes flowing all the way through looks a little bit murky at the moment as i said because we don't have any rain but swimming holes dangling your little feet but already three, four degrees cooler than we were up there because we have this beautiful natural canopy, well worth waiting for that rainforest monsoon. Well, it's not really monsoon, but it'll happen and it'll be fabulous. Wasn't that rainforest walk and your own special creek just spectacular? We're gonna finish at the house and head up to that bright, open, sparkly area of garden, that direction. We can actually get up to this bright, open, sunny paddock via the garden, but I just love the red gates so much that I wanted us to actually come through the red gates again, almost like, you know, going through the red door or the round window. I just think they add such a brilliant vibrancy, if you like, to the entrance of, uh, of, of the property. Now, this is where we come up the driveway and it looks to me poor, maybe close to half an acre. I might be a little bit wrong, but it's a really big spot. And we've got beautiful fruit trees and it is absolutely big enough for, I think, tennis court, cricket pitch, kids playing ball. But you could also probably, again, subject council approval, put in 
a granny flat or something here that would, um, not that the house is not big enough, not that your property is not big enough, not that you don't have that extra little studio as a, as a granny flat down next to the house, but you could have it for perhaps additional income um, or Airbnb. But this is what I was saying at the beginning, special and rare, fabulous rainforest property, beautiful pole home, but here we have the open, sunny, uh, vibrant, paddock with our trees all those little fruit trees now you're going to be amazed at this this would have been an original aviary and we have got pumpkin and we have got all sorts of gorgeous veggies and herbs you could turn it back into an aviary or if you had cats or you had literally you know gorgeous little birds you could use it but i think having that for your self-sustainable lifestyle or the start thereof, remember we've got solar power, is, uh, is unbelievable. And of course, we've got another high shed just over here that could suit caravan, um, could suit an RV, could suit a trailer, but it's just one of these big, you know, these big high shade, I think they call them shade sheds. And again, we've got, oh, just got beautiful fruit trees everywhere we look. Can you see just how high that is at that point? So if you're thinking, I need room, I wanna run my business here, I have got toys, the combination of here, plus a three bay shed down at the house, surely would be enough to satisfy anyone. But just breathe the fresh air, take that in, it is glorious. And we're gonna go head down and we're gonna do a wrap up. I really hope you've enjoyed this film in number 42 Butler Drive in Karanda and hopefully you have gotten a sense of how magical this property actually is. 7,800 square meters which is almost two acres of pristine beautiful your own sanctuary and of course this is the most special part in my opinion be able to come home at the end of the day and either potter in your garden or enjoy the sound, can you hear that? The sound of the bird song. And as we mentioned at the beginning, we've really genuinely got the best of two worlds. We've got a beautiful pole home in the rainforest environment, but we have that big, flat, open area um, that's huge, actually, as we come in that you could use for your swimming pool. We talked about your tennis court, your cricket pitch, um, or even another big shed if you wanted to, or you build another house subject to council approval of course for that extra income or just having two houses for your family on your own property and of course we've got solar power air conditioning we've got a permanent creek and such a brilliant location if you want to commute into Cairns so give me a call Angela Martin 0403 788187 visit the website angelamartin.tv and don't forget hit that little subscribe button if you would love to watch more lifestyle properties just like this one. I look forward to meeting you in your new home.